Great, Emer. Thank you very much. It's been, it is really, really a pleasure to be with you, everybody. Hello. Uh, it's, um, it's a pleasure because, as you said, uh, I actually became a member of WWF when I was 12 years old. <laughs> and so more or less the age of some of the kids that are on the, on the call today. So look, I'm going to be um, uh, telling you a short story um, in, in four minutes. And then at the end of that, uh, a, a question that I would like you perhaps to reflect on and, and come back to me later on. Um, uh, first of all, let me just say, our planet, it's, it's very, very special. After billions of years, it has become full of life, life in many different forms. We all know that, insects, bees, butterflies, spiders, fish, birds, dolphins, elephants, pandas, monkeys, and of course, humans. And in these three minutes that left, I want to tell you the story of humans uh, and the relationship with the planet. We started like any other animal, living in nature, getting from nature what we wanted, what we needed, water from rivers, meat and vegetables from forests, grasslands, shelters in caves. And that's why we still today call mother nature because we were born in nature and nature provided everything for us. Then we learned much faster than other animals how to use and build tools. For example, we started to use stones and then spears and then arrows, finally guns to hunt animals in the forest and nets to catch fish in rivers and the sea. And more and more animals were hunted and fish were caught for our survival. We learned to grow plants like rice and corn and domestic animals like cows and pigs and started to cut trees to make space for agriculture and pastures for our animals. We use axes first and then chainsaws and then tractors to clear larger and larger area of forest. We move out of caves and we started building huts and houses, villages and larger and larger cities. We discovered the use of petrol to produce energy, develop factories, mine minerals from the ground, to power cars and airplanes, and we started to pump toxic gases in the air and toxic chemicals in rivers, in the ocean and on land. And so more and more uh, natural places were affected and being lost over time. The, the more powerful uh, tool we invented and the uh, more successful we became in growing food and the more our population grew. And, what, uh, and with that increased demand for natural resources like water, crops, fish, minerals, we have become the dominant species on the planet, but also a very, very heavy impact on the planet itself. But we didn't pay much attention, in fact, to that impact until recently. We're just beginning to realize that the planet has limited resources to offer us and that we can continue to cut trees faster than they can regrow, we can catch fish faster than they can reproduce. We can't continue to pollute the air, water, and land where we all live. Our impact has not only consequences for the wildlife on Earth that many of, love, many of us love, but actually there are consequences for us because we are all share the same planet that we call home. We're finally beginning to understand that actually our future, our future depends on healthy nature because even today we depend on nature for all or most of our needs. Think about it. To live, we humans need clean water. And where it comes from? Many of us get water from the tap at home, but actually it still comes from rivers and lakes. They need to, clean, to be clean for us to be able to drink that water. Think about air. We need clean air and it is produced by trees and plants. Trees also absorb a lot of CO2 and so, uh, they store it in their wood and so helping combat climate change. So we can continue to cut trees uh, at the same rate. We need bees and other insects to pollinate and our fruit trees and vegetables. And we can continue to spray huge amounts of chemical pesticides in the fields and kill them. So um, let me just conclude by saying that um, uh, uh, there is also another dimension. Um, we have the responsibility, we have also the duty of coexisting with the beautiful diversity of life that is now on the planet. And also nature, plants, trees, animals around us, the song of birds, 
in the morning or in the evening are making us also feel good, feel happy. So nature, it's important to us. Nature is indispensable so, to us. We're finally beginning to understand that without healthy nature, there can't be a future for us, not just for the wildlife of the planet and that we must change our behavior towards nature for the future of all life, including ourselves. There won't be a future for elephants in a world without forests. There won't be a future for dolphins in a sea full of plastic, but there also won't be a future for us humans in a degraded planet. So now uh, I think that my question to you for your discussion is why it's important and what can we do to protect nature for nature and for us? Thank you. Thank